Okay, we are going to look at factors favoring power and energy production in the world. Factors favoring power and energy production in the world. These factors support the production of power and energy. And this time we are not looking at uh, a single type of power. We are looking at all the types of power. Solar, uranium, petroleum, biomass, firewood, hydroelectric power, ETC. All those we have seen, what are the factors that favor their production? Number one, availability of capital. This is in form of money, which is used to pay for labor, which is used to transport materials to use, and which is used also to buy the materials used apart from transportation. Next, a high degree of technology. There must be high technology from engineers and engineering schools who will construct standard and dams of high quality and who will install power properly. So there must be high technology to use. Then enough labor force. This is somehow related to technology, but it's different in another way. Labor should be enough, and at least in three forms, skilled labor, unskilled labor, and semi-skilled labor. For example, people who carry electric poles from the forest may not be educated, but they are physically fit to carry the wood. Then skilled labor is also needed, for example, for installation of power and building dams. Positive government policy, the government or our governments in the world and Africa in particular should have a positive attitude towards power development. For example, our governments should reduce taxes for people who are investing in power and energy production and also encourage and attract foreign investors. Presence of narrow rivers or a narrow river with a narrow channel, narrow river channels. We mean the, the, uh, the distance from one bank of a river to another, or which I think we called river widths. It should be narrow for easy construction, cheap construction, and quick construction of the dam. If the river channel is wide, it will be costly and hard for people to build a dam across that big river channel. Then we have steep gradient. The gradient at which the river flows should be steep to increase the velocity of the river, which will turn the turbines easily. Presence of big rivers with big water volumes. Hmm? If the volume of the river is big, the turbines will rotate easily. Climate with enough rainfall, which will increase the volume of the rivers or lead to river discharge and when the river volume increases, its velocity increases, and turbines will rotate faster to produce help. 
thick vegetation is needed for the production of enough biomass, political stability which allows activities of dam construction and power installation to occur throughout the year from January to December, hard basement rock for a hard dam foundation if the rock across the river is soft dams will collapse absence of seismic waves like earthquakes should not appear because should not occur because they will destroy the dams better transport facility like better roads railway lines to transport materials to use and transport labor importance of power and energy in the development of the world you should ask yourself as a citizen of rwanda that is power and energy very important in our country does it lead to development yes power and energy helps the country and foreign exchange some countries export power and after exportation they earn foreign exchange or currency source of government revenue people who work under power and production in rwanda for example they pay taxes to the government and again government collects taxes from people who use power every consumer of power pays money to the government source of income to people who work from there they earn income source of employment people are employed very many people are employed as engineers and other employees it improves standards of living when people earn income they eat well they sleep well they dress well development of industries because industries need power to run machines both light and heavy industries use power development of infrastructures like hospitals schools and roads because all these need power therefore they develop in an area where power has been developed development of agricultural sector especially uh, okay power and energy promotes agro-based industries because Industries which use agricultural products as raw materials, they also process those products using power. And again, power is used to preserve some agricultural products like fruits, meat, etc. Power helps in security. You always hear of security light. Some people even build fences and put power in wires to scare away the criminals. Power helps in research and study. It helps in research and study. Thank you.